All right, people, I am back. And I'm going to start this channel off by doing what I do best, and that is countering the arguments given to me by fellow YouTubers. And this is a comment in my uh, little kind of video I did. Well, actually, no, it was a vi uh, I left a Dave Nordahl show public. Normally, I record them on Google Hangouts and then just post them to my uh, thing later. By the way, Dave Nordahl show will be starting up again uh, pretty damn quick here. But this is from my old friend, Danny Corks, or Quartz, or whatever, however the fuck you spell his name. I think I called him Wendell the White Knight. Uh, Wendell has since grown up and gotten a pair of decent sunglasses, and I can't tell if that's a trench coat or a suit, so uh, he's, apparently he's all grown up. He, he wrote me this. You can see it. I'll, I'll link the video. You can see his uh, comment there. Wow, this is pathetic. Well, it was a podcast, Danny. It wasn't a video. YouTube wasn't built on family-friendly content. It was built on me, WarCorp666, ranting unprofessionally and terribly while insulting the entire state of Hawaii. Okay. I never said that YouTube was built on me. Alone. But I will stand by the comment, Danny... That YouTube was built on offering non-family friendly content. On giving people that would normally never get any sort of a show on TV a voice. I will say that YouTube, yes, was built on that. That I will say, Danny. And I'd love for you to prove me wrong. If YouTube was not built on non-family friendly content. On content that you wouldn't find in other places. What the fuck was it built on? Seriously, what the fuck was it built on, Danny? What, music? That didn't come around till later. Remember, YouTube's heyday was like 2010, 2011. You know, what the fuck was early YouTube built on? It was built on non-family friendly content. It was built on a bunch of motherfuckers that wouldn't get a voice any other fucking way. So I'll stand by that. But no, I don't think I built YouTube myself. I wish I did! Then maybe I can get that fucking cunt Susie Wojcicki fired! And also, how the fuck do you rant professionally? What, by not doing this? As for the state of Hawaii, I apologize for that rant. Uh, completely strawmanning feminism. Where and when have I strawmanned feminism? Feminism is an entire strawman movement. I don't have to strawman. It strawmans itself. Oh, based on what I read on BuzzFeed. Uh, no. BuzzFeed is just the easiest feminist to make fun of. I make fun of feminism and my arguments against feminism by what feminists write and by, more importantly, their actions. And no, it's not just BuzzFeed. Uh, getting Dick Coughlin's name wrong. Oh, God. Please. No. I, I got a, a, a grown man's name wrong. Dick doesn't seem too bothered by it. Well, wondering why whenever I say Marina shut up's name in a video, our fans automatically come and downvote my video out of spite. Well, actually, Danny, uh, in this instance, um, none of Marina shut up's fans could actually offer any sort of a counter argument or any rebuttal to my arguments against her, like why a gender studies degree is absolutely fucking worthless in the real world. Um, but Marina kind of had her own come to Jesus moment when she actually sat down and read the scum manifesto and was like, holy shit, this is what my movement is. 
And so, yeah, no, they did kind of automatically come and downvote my video. I mean, if they downvoted my video and had a point, I'd certainly listen to it. That's why with Hawaii, I admitted I was wrong, Danny. You know, you remember that, Danny? When, when I admitted I was wrong, when I got all humble and begged Hawaii's forgiveness? Because I was completely fucking wrong? Because, you know, they kind of countered everything I had to say with this thing called fact and logic? What Moranis fans didn't have? Do, do you remember that, Danny? Jog a bow! And calling other women fat and ugly despite looking like the runt of Jabba the Hutt's litter. Danny, I have never once shied away from the fact that I'm a fat motherfucker. I have never once shied away from calling myself Quasimodo. So yes, I think I'm perfectly within my rights to make fun of a woman who's 300 plus pounds but parades around on the YouTube camera in her fucking underwear and thinks she looks good. And you wonder why your crabby news style of a channel got taken down. Danny, again, I wasn't news, buddy. I wasn't. I was an opinion show. I was a commentator. Warcorp 666 was a commentary channel. I commented, which, yes, means give my own opinion. And my opinion was that Ang Vaughn is a sorry, sad sack of shit. Who is way too fat to think she looks and should be shamed into realizing that she doesn't look good. So yes, Danny. So, anyway. And, yeah, I mean, look at the other channels. Dave Nordahl, Dave Nordahl, the channel after War Corps 66, got shut down because I told the truth about Muslims. When I basically said that, you know... Sure, you can make an argument that white terrorism exists. I mean, but you also have to acknowledge, you know, that Muslim terrorism, Islamic terrorism is far more common. And that's not a political argument. That's a fucking numbers argument. Bacon Man Productions, I have no fucking clue why I got shut down. Another video, they couldn't beat me on facts, so they had to say that my lesbian makeout in the corner was sexual. It was sexual imagery, yes. Meanwhile, there's how many popular lesbian YouTubers on here that kiss in their videos? So I put it on, I'm an asshole, and it's sexual objectification, Two true blue lesbians who are just as attractive, they kiss, and it's fucking fine. Honestly, I, I am starting to wonder if, if, if honestly, I, I am wondering if I just shouldn't fucking go trans, because I am wondering if these motherfuckers would actually have anything to say to me then. Because I'd be one of the protected classes. I'd be, da I'd be a damn near right under Muslim. In the protected class of the SJW hierarchy. If I came out as fucking trans. Alright, that wraps up this one. So I'm just curious. Actually, no, one last thing. Just curious, Danny. You, you got anything to say? Anything at all? <laughs>